kita juga. Welcome back to Millennial TV. We are now on the part where we will know how to detoxify from social pressure. So before that, let me ask you guys, how do you, you know, what are the tips to lessen social pressure sa paligid natin? Yun, number one yung kanina sinabi ni Waki na disconnect from time to time. And for me, find new hobbies. Ako, oh. the way I cope with um, the pandemic especially, kasi sobrang nakaka-trigger siya ng depression and anxiety, di ba? Like, for the past two years, we were like, you know, limited yung kaya mong gawin. Mm -mm. I tried learning new things. Nag-start ako ng podcast. Um, I've attended workshops online. Mga ganyan-ganyan, guys. Yeah. I mean, for me, do what you need to cope. It doesn't have to be super yeah. fancy or expensive. Or it doesn't have to involve, like, you know, too much movement or energy. Just by listening to something online or watching something, it will probably help you uh, disconnect from kung ano man yung naisip mo. And then also, uh, no, for me, listen to more stories. You know, yung, yung mga feel more relatable. Follow people online who are artists. Who are mga writers, composers, musicians, kesa dun sa mga Instagram influencers or mga models na nag-trigger ng not, not to lose your followers or something. Pero yung, kung nag-trigger yung, for example... Siya yung nag-trigger. Kung wala kang abs. So, natin pa na. Unless na inspire ka nila na mag-gym at mag-workout, go ahead. Pero kung nag-trigger lang siya everyday na insecure ka, maybe they're not healthy for you anymore. So, just look for words of affirmation yung mga sinasabi mo. Inspirational talks, mga TED yeah. talks online, oh. movies na may katuturan. Yung mga mga Anything that will make make you happy or you know feel light. You know. Oh. Para kasi di ba kung sadong heavy. Eh. How about you, you love? Like how do you cope? <laughs> Ayun na detoxify talaga tama si Wahi at saka enjoy mo yung sarili mo sa labas. Like hindi man kailangan na kulong ka. Tapos titig na mo lang yung mga idol mo na buti pa sila ganito ganyan o oh, why won't you go to gym or kaya kumain ka kung saan mo gusto e, ano ba yun yung mga simple self -love, things yeah. lang mm -hmm. self love sobrang importante how about you Chris like ano mga hobbies mo pa <laughs> yeah, working out Minsan, nagbabike ako tapos... Nag-workout ka! Hindi naman kami na-surprise. Kasi yun, nagbabike ako tapos sumarayo ako, mag-isa lang ako gano'n. Tambay ko sa akin. Parang para sa akin, ano siya, chilling. Kasi naman, nasa bahay ka na ako, post-scroll, waste of time, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Parang do something productive. Minsan kasi, lalo na ngayon, pag tumambay ka sa... TikTok, di ba? Like, mamamalay mo daw. 3 hours ka pala doon na scroll. Oh, scroll, scroll. Sobra unproductive. Oo, oo. Kailangan feeling ko, i-guard, i-police mo rin yung sarili mo. Parang one hour lang muna to, and then do something na probably mag-jogging ka, or, you know, play with your pets, or with people. Talk to your family members in the house. Yes. Or kaya magluto-luto ka doon, di ba? Baking. Yung mga ganun. Little, little things. Find a new hobby. Find a new hobby. Siguro, I think it comes down then sa mindset. Mm -mm. Na yun sinabi mo kanina na people don't care what mm -mm. you do. Yep. So just focus on yourself. True. And what do you want to do? Na na. Yun lang. Mindset lang talaga. We're all living like celebrities kasi feeling natin, oh people are watching, people need oh, to see oh. my status na ngayon. Tama! Ay, kailangan, oh. ano, kailangan ilalike na nila to. Yung yeah. mag... Guys, if you reach a particular age Talma or a certain kayo. age, <laughs> hindi na siya, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Na. What matters is your peace of mind and your happiness. You go at your own pace. Feeling ko, pag, if you're younger, you always look for validation. Eh, na, na parang, yes. uh, I'm uh, this, I'm that. Uh, oh. You don't post ka, tapos 10 minutes na. Uy, 10 minutes na, tatlo pa rin, tatlo lang likes. Oh, Balik ka lang balis. <laughs> <laughs> even, kasi, kasi yung sabi nga ni Wahi kanina, it starts when you were a kid. Like, sabi ng parents mo, Mga 88 lang yung grade ko, bakit hindi 90? Ganon. So, it's not really healthy for, yeah, for, for, um, yung mga millennials ngayon na magiging parents na if you have little kids, be careful with what you tell them kasi pwede nilang madala yan ng pagkumanda na sila. Meron silang mga traumas and meron silang mga behaviors na hindi ma-explain kung saan nagmula. It's because of the bad parenting. Always choose to be nice. 
nakakata mo yung example ng 88 to 90 ha. Yan yung mga ganyan. Kasi isipin mo 88 to 90. Hmm. So, sorry ha, sa akin lang ang taas na nung 88. Okay. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> example lang yun. Diba? No, that's true. Yeah, uh, it is. I've seen parents uh, na yun nga eh, they Expecting too much, get no? angry at their kids for not getting top honors. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why what not, is wrong with why Sorry, go ahead. Them, diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hindi yung hindi mo bad ganto. Why I, not help them? Why why they get the score like that? Yeah. Diba? Sorry, hindi ako nagpapaka hater sa mga magulang natin. Yeah. They just want yeah. the best for us. But uh, yun nga eh, it's absurd how there are parents na just ko hindi lang umabot nung yeah, yeah, yeah. 95, de ba? Nag 93 lang siya at de ba? Galit na eh ako nga kumapit lang sa 80 parang <laughs> <laughs> uh, medyo masaya na ako eh, di ba? So it really goes to show there uh, how pressure from parents to completely yeah. different situations. Mm-hmm. Yung dapat na matalino, biglang he feels panga na all yeah, of us yeah, atin kasi hindi siya naka-90. Mm-hmm. Di ba? It's funny but uh, it's true. And uh, let it serve as a reminder to everyone na uh, let's be careful with hindi lang sa mga anak natin. Uh, lahat naman tayo nag-work dito or maghahanap ng work or mm-hmm. naging uh, part na ng workforce. It can happen also uh, between workmates. Uh, personally, I've had bosses na yung talagang they would pick on mm-hmm. you and they would uh, say things about you na in the guys that they wanna push you to become better. Yeah. Yeah. Pero ang naging kapalit is yun nga, mental health din ng no? yeah. uh, mga employees mo na napapahiya, nahihirapan. I, I think one true test of um, maturity is know how to deal with feedback. Yeah. Na yes. kung if it's something na constructive, yeah. if it's something na parang um, to, to help you grow, or if it's just something to annoy you or to pressure mm-hmm. you more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Yung mga bashers. Yeah. Bashers, uh, number one yan. It, it, it affects your mental health. Meron ka niyan, sure. Ang oh, Diyos kong dami, diba? nag-aal mo sa lako ng bash. <laughs> 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 Pero kasi, uh, feeling ko, isa yun. Uh, feeling ko, um, yeah, totoo yun na sa family siya, sa school, sa employer mo or something. Pero kasi, feeling ko, nasa sa'yo rin yan eh, kung lahat yung papakinggan mo, di ba? Tama. Pwede mo naman piliin lang eh. Like, kung balat si Buyas ka lahat, di ba? Ay, I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. I have to butt in. At work, it's not that easy ah. Kaya, yeah, 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 yeah. re-remind ako sa mga magulang at sa mga boss natin. Na yun nga eh, syempre, you can, it's easy to say na, hindi, ignore the negative correct, correct. feedback. If it's a person of authority that's trying to either bully you or pressure you, that's a different story. Ah. You, have it, yes. Yes. you have to speak up. Yes. You have to speak up. I think be assertive. Okay, mm-hmm. wala kasi siya sa, sa culture natin kasi parang feeling natin, ah baka disrespectful or baka oh, mag-retaliate oh. or baka sabihin pamareklamador ako or, oh, or ungrateful. Pero sa panahon po ngayon, you know, speaking up should be the norm, you know? Yes. Bardagulan mm-hmm. ear no ngayon. So, <laughs> it's yeah. not that easy. Uh, correct, correct. I just have it's to say that uh, it's not that easy. Uh, nakaka, sorry ha, a personal experience lang din na uh, Ako kasi being who I am na sanay yung mga bosses ko siguro na parang de, ay, he looks like he's a tough guy so yeah. he can dish, he, he, siguro he can take it pag uh, namumura namin siya or nasasabihan namin siya ng masama. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, yung mga office mates ko syempre nakikitang ginigrill ka ng anon. And my boss thinks it's okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, ako naman, tama ka, I wanted to speak up. You should speak up yeah. but yes. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, be mindful, talaga. Uh, it starts from the top. Uh, if you wanna create a workspace, yeah. a household, or even a show like this, na people are respected and no one feels pressured correct, or correct. bullied, it and has to start from the top. Draw the line and then know know your boundaries there. Now, when, once it's crossed and you raise mo nashendi para yeah. na rin, so, mm-hmm. you know it's okay to leave. You know, quit. that's why I left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's actually very easy to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it comes with a privilege yeah. then parang sabihin mo na, ah, just, just leave. Pero, right. it's not worth your mental health kasi guys. So, iniisip na parang, but you know, this is my source of income. You're just afraid to try again or to start over. You know, sometimes, you know, there are greater things at the other side of fear. So, kung ako sa'yo, try mo lang. Yes, learning and try. Yeah. Or if not, ask for help. So guys, ano-ano yung mga help na pwede nyong ibigay sa ating mga 
televiewers na nag na may pinagdadaanan na pressure, depression, and yung mga best na pwede niyong sabihin sa kanila. Well, we are not doctors here to yes, you know to so give man. advice First of all. about <laughs> Um, what they should do, especially if it's like um, a serious mental health yes. issue, na um, it's always best. Parin yung sinasabi ni Waki na to consult a professional. But yes. for me, I think do what you think is working for you. Okay, like yeah. you know, even working out or anything like that, and um, talking to people you love, I think, or talk to your friends, because they are the family you choose. If you think na parang nasa toxic household ka, or if you think na yung parents mo hindi nahikinig sa'yo or something, meron kang mga relatives dyan na nakakaintindi sa situation mo. You have friends yeah. who are going through the same thing, who can probably share things with you <coughs> na pwede mong magamit, or at least mapapagaan yung loob mo na it will make you realize that you are not alone. Yeah. Totoo. Actually, yun lang. Yun, sa, yun sa totoo lang, ah, parang mas helpful pa nga yung mga taong mas strangers, yung hindi Correct. mo pa kilala, kasi sa mga taong kilala mo talaga. Mm -hmm. right? So parang ang sarap din talaga mag-open up to someone na bago, bago lang sila sa paningin nila sa'yo, tapos yung mga napagdadaanan mo, nagigets din nila. So yung mga feedback nila from your experience, mas maganda yung mga advices na nabibigay nila Kasi sa walang inyo. judgment. I think it oh, goes out for everyone na, to be a good listener than yeah. you know, salita lang ng salita. Dapat nakikinig din tayo yung sa experience nila. nila. And, Talk to introverts. Yeah. <laughs> like Chris. Chris. Like, Sarah din. Yeah, yeah, Sarah. Like, you know, parang kasi they, they just listen, they observe, and then yes. Once they talk, oh. you know, uh, must my substance. Makes sense, talaga. Saka, yun nga, invest yourself sa mga bagay or people that makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. Learn to cut ties with people who are not good yeah. for your mental health as Preach well. To that. Block people on social media, it's okay. I mean, if they're not adding value to your life anymore. Yeah. Um, sometimes, kasi we keep connections, kasi nisip natin. Ah, ano man ito, baka anong sabihin nyo, whatever. No, your, your mental health is your own responsibility. Yes. So, kung natotoxing yung ka na sa kanila, or mga ganito yung mga sinasabi nila sa'yo, lalo ka lang tinitrigger. May mga tao oh, kasi nananadya oh, talaga oh. eh. They will rub it <laughs> in your <laughs> face <laughs> na, <laughs> na, di ba? Sa Pero parang, totoo yan. Look how successful I am, or something like that. May mga ganong na tone, and you would, you would know it na. Diba? So, yung mga ganito, you don't need them in your life. Mm -hmm. Totoo yan. Not Ako naman pa sa akin, as advice from elders, mm. diba? Elders. Kasi mas, mas may yeah, experience yeah. sila. Elders who are not, you know, toxic boomers din. Yes. May mga oh, boomers din kasi na very traditional. Oh, yes. Matanda na, ano pa rin. <laughs> yeah, kasi iba rin yung upbringing sa kanila noon before. Iba you know, they were like harassed, abused. Yeah. They were like, you know, bubog sarado talaga sila. So they think it worked for them. So it's it's gonna it will work. work. It should yeah. work for this new, so new generation. Which, it's not really the case because people are woke right now. Yes. Like, you know, we, know what we, we know what we want, we know what we deserve. This is how I should yeah. brand my life. And you know, you are just there to guide them as parents yes. or as elders, but not to manipulate or run their lives because they have their own. Parenting show na pala ito big na. Ha, egra. Hindi ka na mag-parenting. This is for our, ano ha, point of view to. Kasi, siyempre, we millennials, tayo yung naka-experience ng old type of parenting and tayo yung nakakita ng mas, ano ba ito, mas modern. Yes. Bagay na bagay maging parent si, ano? Okay, guys, to wrap it up. Personal, ano lang namin to, point of view. Correct, correct. Hindi kami mga professionals. Okay, another hour have passed with us here on Millennial TV. Don't forget to tune in with us every Sundays 8 p.m. and to like and subscribe on our Facebook page and YouTube channel, Millennial TV. We all go through things in life, different challenges, and sometimes we tend to compare ourselves to others. Why are they more successful? Bakit sila ay mas more than what we have? We have to practice na tanggalan nito unti-unti and appreciate ourselves more. It may be easier said than done, but baby steps will help in the way. Yeah. I am Yula by Paula. I am Zara Lim. I am Chris Abaya. I am Waki Mendoza. At uh, sasamantalahin ko na rin yung uh, pagkakataon na magbabay muna sandali oh, sa show uh, at sa viewers. Yeah. Kasi po, uh, 
sa campaign period, technically, we can't uh, appear uh, on programs like this. Uh, it is written on the law, but uh, I promise to keep catching uh, all of the episodes. And napakagaling po talaga uh, nung mga hosts natin sa Millennial TV. Uh, I'm pretty sure din na uh, meron ding bakit hindi tayo magpasok ng mga ibang mga hosts from time to time na iba. But I will keep uh, watching you guys and I am so happy lang to see how much the show has grown and the depth of the topics that uh, we're willing to discuss. So I'm proud of you four and uh, I'm proud of uh, everyone proud on Planet of you. Thanks, wow. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> And I am M.A. Buendia. See you again in the next episode of Millennial TV. This, This is our time! time.